Welcome back to part two of the Borderlands rifle build. In this video we'll be painting the rifle as well as adding any other small details. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is cover the EVA foam areas, so the bayonet and the magazine, with Plastidip. Many of the Bandit class guns in Borderlands have pipe strapping wrapped around the handles or the magazines. I'll be making mine out of craft foam. The strips I just cut were 3 quarter inches wide and the holes are spaced 3 quarter inches apart from each other. Then they're sprayed with Plastidip and a coat of silver spray paint. For weathering and the first coat of cell shading, I'll be using a watered down black acrylic. The entire rifle can then be painted with a flat gray primer, and then a coat of silver spray paint can be added on top of that. For masking off of specific areas, I'll be using this thin Tamiya masking tape, normal masking tape, and frog tape for the more delicate areas. Then the whole thing can get hit with a satin apple red spray paint. Now we can remove our masking tape and reveal all of our hard work. Using a silver pen, I go in and add silver to areas that were too small to mask off.
as of right now it just kind of looks like another off-brand nerf gun so now we get to the fun part where we get to add the weathering and the cell shading for the first layer of weathering i use a black wash which is black acrylic paint mixed with rubbing alcohol or water Using a sharpie, I outline where I want the shark teeth to go. Using white acrylic, I hand paint each of the shark teeth. Now looking back, I could have done this a lot easier by just masking off that area, spraying it white, and then going in and hand painting in the black over it because black covers white a lot easier than white covers any other color. Now it's time to start cell shading, which is really going to bring this build into the Borderlands world. I'd like to mention that I've only ever cell shaded a few times before this, so I'm very new. But the tips that I've learned and the tips that I can give you are to definitely look at a lot of reference photos, which is what I did, and to not be afraid to make thick lines. I found that some of the coolest parts of this gun are where I thought I had messed up and made a line too thick, but it actually worked really well. I'm using paint pens here because they're a little easier to work with, but you could do this whole thing with a thin paintbrush if you wanted. I waited to do the white highlighting on the pipe strapping until after I put it on the gun because I wanted to know where it would fall and where, theoretically, the sun would reflect and cause those white lines.
And there we have it, the completed Borderlands Bandit Rifle. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, put them down in the comment section. Thank you again for watching and all your support, and I will see you in the next video.